नमस्कार माय सेल्फ लेफ्टिनेंट डॉक्टर प्रशांत आंबेकर फ्रॉम धर्मपेट सायन्स कॉलेज नागपूर एंड आय एम डॉक्टर जसवीर रंधावा आंबेकर फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग नागपूर वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस एक्सपेरिमेंटल मॉड्यूल ऑन डायफ्रॅक्शन इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल परफॉर्म एन एक्सपेरिमेंट टू डिटर्मिन ग्रेटिंग एलिमेंट एंड द नंबर ऑफ लाईन्स पर इंच on a plane transmission diffraction grating friends diffraction phenomena is nothing but bending of light around an obstacle having dimensions comparable to its wavelength diffraction grating is a device consisting of large number of parallel slits of equal width say a separated from one another by equal opaque spaces say b grating element or period say a plus b stands for distance d between the centers of two adjacent slits now as you are also aware of the laser l a s e r is an acronym of light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation it is basically an amplified uh, light so uh, it is highly monochromatic coherent and intense beam with a very small divergence in this experiment uh, we have uh, formulas we have to deal with formulas d sin theta equals to n lambda where n is the order of diffraction theta is the angle of diffraction and lambda is the wavelength of incident light the second formula is d equals to 1 inch by capital n where n is the number of lines per inch that is lpi which we are going to find out in this experiment the diffraction grating is supposed to be consisting of very large number of uh, opaque and transparent lines here a uh, diffraction grating is shown which is just uh, is supposed to be made just for the purpose of understanding which is having very less number of slits but we can see that there are two slits uh, two lines and the plane transparent portion in between two lines makes a slit uh, if we look into the formula for diffraction grating we can see that d is uh, a constant for a particular grating n is order of diffraction which is either 1 2 or 3 at max so uh, considering d and n constant uh, sin theta appears to be directly proportional to lambda so the longer wavelengths are uh, will be observed at higher values of theta and shorter wavelengths will be observed at smaller values of theta after passing through the diffraction grating when a monochromatic light is incident on a diffraction grating some light which is not diffracted pass undeviated constitute the central maximum and on either side of it we get the first order diffraction pattern the higher orders are not seen in this particular picture but we are most likely to get first second and in some cases third order diffraction we are interested in determining the angle of diffraction uh, theta if we pass white light through a diffraction grating then as i told you shorter wavelengths are less diffracted so violet and blue colors are seen at smaller values of theta 
and longer wavelengths are more diffracted so we are observing red color at higher values of theta the angle theta is determined by measuring this distance which we call as x and the separation uh, of the screen from the grating which we call as l so tan theta is x upon l and therefore tan inverse of x upon l will give us the corresponding angle theta one thing we got to note about diffraction is that the process diffraction is opposite to that of the refraction process which is observed in prism prism is a device which refracts longer wavelength less and shorter wavelengths more whereas uh, diffraction in the process of diffraction longer wavelengths are more diffracted and shorter wavelengths are less diffracted we are using a handy laser which is green in color its wavelength is specified here the grating that we are using is attached to is attached like this so that it could remain uh, perpendicular to the incident light we will be incident uh, light will be incident in this manner like that and uh, the number of lines on this grating or the grating element is something which we are determining in this experiment the length of this is source is known to us and this is the screen that we have created which will be giving us the diffraction pattern if uh, we keep it like this then these are the diffraction pattern uh, being seen central maximum then first order maximum second order maximum third order is also seen here and somewhere there it is available okay we have kept the screen at a distance uh, 30 cm from the diffraction grating and we are getting the diffracted pattern on the screen this is central maximum then these are first order maximums and this is second order third order is also seen we are interested in measuring the angle of diffraction that is uh, the incident direction and the diffracted direction this angle so we will measure this distance as x and instead of measuring x we measure 2x then find out x from the value divided it by 2 and l is known to us so tan inverse of x by l will give us theta we are measuring theta for first order by measuring 2x theta for second order by measuring 2x and for third order also we have seen the experimental section now we should look for calculations and result we have seen that the l was 30 cm that means slit to uh, screen distance was 30 cm we have considered order 1 of the diffraction that is n equals to 1 in our case and uh, the left to right first order uh, diffraction spot distance was 17 cm that means distance between two spots observed at the left and right of the principal maxima uh, was 17 so we have taken x equals to 8.5 that means dividing it by 2 by knowing the values of x and l we should calculate the tan inverse of x by l which is nothing but the angle of diffraction that comes out to be 15.819 and hence sin theta is 0.2726 the basic relation tells us that d equals to n lambda by sin theta so d can be calculated by using these things n lambda and sin theta and it comes to be 1.952 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 cm but this is a single observation we should take as much as possible observation in order to get our uh, results more accurate so 
either you can change L you can change the order of diffraction and hence you will get different uh, twice x and x and therefore the theta and uh, you will get different values of d if you take at least 10 uh, observations you will get uh, a bit accuracy in your experimental part and therefore the mean d can be calculated uh, in our case it is 1.952 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 centimeters as we have taken sing single observation and therefore the n will be 1 upon mean d can be calculated 5124.1085 this is in centimeters so if you want to find out LPI then you have to consider 1 inch equals to 2.54 centimeters and therefore uh, you will get 13,015 as LPI that is capital N by this experiment. In this case we have considered or uh, rather used the lambda that means laser source wavelength is 532 nanometer which comes in green range of the visible spectra and uh, as a result we get the value of grating element of the given plane transmission diffraction grating 1.952 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 centimeters and the LPI of the same grating is found to be 13,015 in this experiment you should have taken few precautions and those are laser light should not be seen directly by naked eyes as it may damage the retina the distances and the angles should be noted or measured with high degree of accuracy so with this this experiment concludes